Hello, this is the first video of a first order differential equation series for OCR Pure Core Further Mathematics and introduces modelling with differential equations. Using mathematical equations to represent real world situations is called modelling. We use models to make predictions and find solutions. As calculus allows us to deal with rates of change that are not constant, if rates of change are involved, the modelling will probably involve differential equations. Rates of change are often with respect to time, denoted by small t. For example, velocity is the rate of change of displacement x with respect to time, written dx by dt. However, we should note that rates of change may not involve time, but the magnitude of a radius or area or other variable quantities such as distance. So an example of a rate of change with respect to a variable other than time is the rate of change of volume V of a snowball with respect to its surface area A. We would write this as dV by dA. We should note that the dependent variables are x and v and the independent variables are t and a. Differentiation with respect to x is often indicated by using a dash. For example here y dash equals dy by dx for the first derivative. If we were to look at a second derivative y double dashed would be d2y by dx squared. Similarly, a dot can be used to denote differentiation with respect to time t. So, for example, x dot would equal dx by dt and x double dot would be d2x by dt squared and so on. Here is an example of using a model. Note that this differential equation is on a topic covered by A-level maths, so you may have come across it before. Newton's laws of cooling states that the rate at which an object cools is proportional to the amount by which its temperature exceeds that of its surroundings. If a room has a constant temperature of 20 degrees C, formulate a mathematical model for this. First, we would want to identify or define the variables and constants in the question. We will let temperature, written capital T, be the temperature at time t, written as small t. Then we know that the excess temperature will be t minus 20 degrees C, as 20 degrees C is the constant temperature of a room. We know that we want to find the cooling, so in other words, dt differentiated with respect to small t and that this is going to be proportional to that excess temperature. Let's call it then minus k multiplied by t minus 20. We'd quite like to choose a positive constant k and that's why we've put in the negative sign, because we are cooling. So the first order derivative dt by d small t equal to minus k brackets t minus 20 is the mathematical model. In this second example, we will again identify or define the variables and constants to start with. So we know that V is the volume and it is dependent on T which is time. So we're also told that dV 
by dt equals 15. We know it's positive 15 because it's increasing. We will also remember from previous knowledge that the volume of the sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, where r is the radius. So what we're really asking is to find the rate at which the radius is increasing. So that would be dr by dt. It looks like that might be quite a problem. Only we note that we can use the chain rule for differentiation. Therefore, let's consider that we know dv by dt. And using the chain rule, we could write that as being dv by dr multiplied by dr by dt. If we have that v equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, we can work out dv by dr. And that will give us 4 pi r squared. Hence, substituting in the values we know, we know that dv by dt is 15, that that is going to equal 4 pi r squared times the dr by dt that we want. So, at the point when r equals 10, which is what we're given in the question, we then can say that dr by dt will equal 15 over 4 pi times 10 squared, which equals 0 0.012 centimetres per second. So that is the rate at which the radius r is increasing when r equals 10 centimetres. In the next video, we will look at general and particular solutions for first order differential equations.